Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Today we're going to show you how to set up your Waze band and we're going to be setting it up with an Android phone. The process should be very similar for an iPhone as well, so go ahead and walk with us. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to take out your charger and you're going to connect your phone to your charger. This is the first step. Plug your charger into power, and this is simply going to turn the unit on. Okay. Now, once it's on, you will see this show up on the screen. And what you'll need to do is go to your app store. So on an Android phone, you go to the Play Store. On an iPhone, you go to the App Store. And you're going to search Waze Cam App and look for this app here and download it. Now, once it's downloaded, you will need to create an account, or if you already have an account, you're going to sign into that account. All right, now, once you have signed into your Waze account or created an account, you're going to go up to the upper left corner, click on the plus, tap on add device, and then swipe down and go to Waze band. And give it a second, you're going to see your band show up on the screen and make sure the numbers match. See here. We'll just tap on there. It'll begin to pair. And then you're going to hit OK on your band. And you're successful. That's it. Now that your band is set up, you want to select what hand you're going to wear the band on. I'm going to wear it on my left hand. So I'm going to tap that, hit Next. It'll give you a quick little tutorial on how to use it, which is simply swiping up and down. Important thing to note, there are no buttons on your band. Um, there is just like a touch button that's right at the bottom here that you can tap or hold down on, but there's no physical buttons. So there we go. Swipe, swipe, swipe. This will show you some of the different things you can do. And now that we're in, I just want to show you uh, a few other important steps you'll want to take. So, for example, if you want to get text messages on your band or any other notifications from your phone, you will need to uh, enable this feature, which is uh, for messaging. Now, you're going to hit the plus at the bottom here. Oh. Tap the plus. And at the very bottom is notifications. You'll need to drag this all the way up to the top. For some reason, it doesn't show up if you don't do this step. So I make it the second option, hit save. And now you'll see it in the list here. We're going to tap on notifications, tap here. And then normally this will be turned off initially. So make sure you turn on allow notifications on band and then turn on phone calls text messages and then you can turn on any one of these other options here. You can also hit other applications and then you can go through and select more specific applications you would want to receive notifications from. So um, once you've selected all the options you want to select here, hit your back button. And now when you get a text message, you will see it on your band. Now you cannot respond to messages. An important thing to note, you can just read them. So, you know, there, just in case you were thinking of you, just in case you thought you could respond, you are not able to do that, but it will show you every time something comes through. Next, I'm going to show you how to customize your uh, main screen. So we'll go back to clock face here. And now you can go through and select a background that you like, and then select a clock type that you like. This one kind of reminds me of the old Nike bands. I'm going to select this one though, because I always love to see my steps. And here you can change the color of the font as well, in case you have a favorite color. You can also hit the plus here and you can have your own picture as the background. It would be small, but it will show up. Once you've finished all your selections, make sure you come up to the upper right corner and tap on save and it will uh, save your watch face. And now it will show up on your band. And there we go. So those are probably the main things you need to do in the setup. Everything else is going to be about you exploring. You can again swipe through and you can go to each one of the settings 
and see what they do and see what you can customize. Um, the, sorry, the last thing you'd want to do is turn on your Alexa alerts as well. So tap on this option here and I've already set it up for this particular watch, but on this screen, it would actually show you uh, a page to sign into your Amazon account. Once you sign into that, it will link with all your other Alexa enabled devices. So you can then hold down on this um, touch button on the screen here. So hold for one second. That will launch Alexa and it will begin to listen. And then you can tell it to turn on different appliances or read a notification or search something for you, play music, and it'll all work through your device here. There are limitations. You can't ask it to do everything you would ask one of your normal devices, but um, you can do a lot of things. And these are some of the basic commands like checking the weather, adding something to your shopping list, turning on a light in your house, or asking just a general question. So hope you guys did find this helpful. Um, I came across this band on Amazon's website and I figured for $40, you know, let me try it out and see how good it is. And so far I'm pretty impressed with it. I like it. We're going to do a full review and give you, uh, all the things we like about it and maybe things that we don't. So stay tuned for that video. Like, favorite, and share this video if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.